Good day viewers, good day class. Continuation of part one, which this is part two of differentiation and integration in JAM CBT. We are continuing. Looking at the question, looking at the question here, he said, evaluate this. What does it mean? Integration. This sign means what? Integration. We should what? Integrate this particular question. So, looking at this, let's go to solution without wasting time. We now look at this of the question. Let's recall, we recall, let's also remember that if y is equal to sine, maybe sine 5x, are you getting what I'm saying now? The mean said find the dy dx. To find dy dx, we now say that dy dx is equal to d sine 5x all over dx. Then differentiating this man, I have to differentiate him separate 5x, which is angle. I'm differentiating it with its angle times differentiation of the angle in respect to what x. Then when we differentiate this man with angle, we have a cos, cos x times when I differentiate this man, I will have five. I will have one times five x raised to power one minus one because this is the power of one. Times x. Remember when we will talk to you about differentiation, and this is raised to the power one minus one. I'm subtracting. I'll have this. Cos five x times this will give me five x raised to the power zero. And you remember anything raised to the power zero is one. I have cos five x times five into one. Then this will give me five cos five x. X. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 6 will give me 5 cos 5x when we differentiate this. Then integration of sine. Are you following now? If I come here to say integrate, integration of what? Sine. That means we should return sine u. Integration of sine u. You remember what I said about u? u can be any angle. In this case, u is 5x. This u can be any angle, either theta or 2x or 5 or 7 or whatever, but I know it as my angle. In this case, I have this u to be what? 5x. So if we are asked to integrate sine, what do we do? We said integration of sine, integration of sine u times 1 all over differentiation of the, the angle in respect to the angle. And this will give me, when I, I integrate, sorry, let me not confuse you more, I'll come to this. Integration of cos, look at what we get. Integration of what? Cos u. This will give me sine cos u, integration of sine, uh, integration of cos u times one all over du in d in respect to the angle of course then if i now integrate it do you remember that this sign is the sign of integration then if i now integrate it integrating course will give me sign u times one all over du all over du in respect example let's look at an example of this i have Integration of cos 3x. Integration of cos 3x. We said is integration of cos giving me cos 3x times 1 all over differentiation of the angle of the cos. Integration of the cos times the one all over differentiation of the angle of the cos. Then that will give me, when I integrate cos, it will give me sine. 
3x. Thus, when I differentiate 3x, it will give me 3, 1 times 3 raised to power 1 minus 1. And this will allow me to sign of 3x times 1 all over what 3 raised to power x raised to power 0. And you remember that this will be sign of 3x times 1 all over what 3 into 1 because anything raised to power 1 is already 1. And I will have this to be what sign 3x times 1 all over 3. Then this will give me 1 all over 3 sine 3x as my answer when I integrate this number. Are you getting what I'm saying that? So now, if I integrate sine, if I integrate cos, it will give me sine. When I differentiate sine, are you looking at this? When I differentiate sine, it will give me cos. When I integrate sine, it, if I integrate cos, it will give me what? Sine. Come here, I'm coming again. If I differentiate sine, I will get cos. Then when I integrate cos, I return it to what? Sine. You remember that differentiation is destruction. Why integration is what? Restoration. Differentiation is what? Destruction. And you remember, back to this, I have to put my constant, remember? Immediately integrate any value, I must put this constant. Remember that. Remember, don't, don't ever forget to pull this cost, uh, constant. If you do that, you will get it what? You will get it zero. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? This constant is more important in integration. Anytime you need integration, constant will be there. So let me go back to what I'm saying before. I said if I differentiate sine, I will get cos. If I differentiate sine, which we'll see here, we will get cos. Then when we integrate cos, look at it, I'm integrating cos. What I'm going to get is what sine. This is the format. Are you getting what I'm saying that? What I put here for you is the word format. Are you getting what I'm saying that? So when I integrate cos, it will give me what sine. When I differentiate sine, it will give me cos. Okay, let's integrate this. Let me know whether we will get back this. Let us look at here. Let us integrate this answer we get here. Let's see whether we're going to get this back. Can we clean this now? I can clean this place. Let's integrate it. Let's integrate it. So watch, watch what I'm going to do now. I have to, uh, they said I should integrate 5 cos 5x. That's what they said. This is our answer we got when we differentiate this one. We got this. Where? to integrate it. When I say this thing is the same thing, looking at this, this is a constant 5. But this 5 will survive this integration because it is with what? The cos. So what am I going to do? It will be what? 5 outside integral of what? Cos 5x. Are you following what I'm doing now? This 5 is a constant. I bring it out, then integrate the cos. Are you going to say that? So this now will give me 5 integral of what cos 5x times 1 all over d5x over dx. I'm going to differentiate the angle. I integrate the cos 5x times differentiation of the angle. I integrate the cos 5x times differentiation of the angle. What's the angle 5x? Then that differentiation of the angle must be 1 over differentiation of the angle. You remember? Good. Then coming to this. Why is it 1? Hello? Follow me. Ah, press. Why do we put 1 on our formula? Look at our differentiation. We have this differentiating the sign times the differentiation of the angle. So inverse of this angle back will bring us back to where we are. That's the inverse of this, what I'm doing here is what we are doing here in integration. So now looking at this, I will have what, five? Then in integrating cos will give me what? Sine 5x. 
are integrating this cos 5x will give me sine 5x times in, in differentiating this man will give me 1 over 5 you remember differentiating this man will give me 5 I think we have done that here which you can remember that I have d5x over dx will give me 1 times 5x raised to power 1 minus 1 1 times 5 x raised to power 0 x raised to power 0 then 1 times 5 into 1 and that give me 5 you remember that's it when we differentiate this which will be over 1 then now back to what we are doing then I will have this to be 5 then this will not be what? This time this will give me 1 over 5 sine 5x into this. Then 5 times this plus our constant. Remember, remember the constant. Then 5 times this will give me equals to what? 5 over 5 sine 5x. And that will give me sine 5x. That's what I have here, sine 5x. And plus my word constant. That's my what we differentiate. We differentiate y equals to sine 5x. And what do we get here? We get what y equals to what? Sine 5x plus constant. Later, I will tell you the reason why that constant is there. I will tell you why we put constant. Let's go back to what we have. Then I can go to clean here. Let me clean here for a minute. Give me attention a little. Let's also clean here. Then let's go to cos. And I'll come back to say, we have differentiated sign and we get what cos. Then we we'll recall again, recall, if y is equal to what? Cos, cos, 5, maybe 2x. We want to differentiate cos now. I you get what I'm saying that? And then I say, find a dy dx. What do we do? The same pattern. dy dx is equal to d cos 2x all over dx. Then my answer will be what? Differentiating the cos with its value, with its angle, in respect to what? dx. Times differentiating the angle which it carries in respect to x. Then this will now be, if I differentiate cos, are you following me? If I differentiate cos, I'll have minus sine 2x. Then differentiating these 2x, I'll have 2. And my answer will now be minus 2 sine 2x. I can use this to multiply this to say 4x. I think I told you that this is not angle. This is an angle. This is not angle. This 2 is telling me how many times sine 2x is, which is coefficient of sine 2x, which I have here. Then now I will have that my word dy dx is equal to this. Then you remember that I can write this. I follow you so that we can grab many things before we go to our answer that dy dx is equal to what? 2 sine 2x. I cannot say that dy is equal to what? 2 sine 2x dx. I follow you now. What do I do? Cross multiplication. This is over 1. If you do cross multiplication, you have this. What this man is telling me? This man here, standing here, is telling me that this function has been differentiated. And that's why you always see it in the integration. So this man is telling me that this man, this function has been what? Differentiated once. If this man is raised to power 1, that means he has been differentiated once. If this man here is like this, he's telling me that this man has been differentiated and differentiated again. That's two times. So this man here is just there to notify me that this function given to me had the word differentiated was. You remember? Good. Then, if we now differentiate, we have this. Then now, let's look at integration. If I'm in now integrating sine, sine, if I'm integrating sine, I want to integrate uh, sine. If I now integrate sine, I integrate sine u. 
I will do something like this integration of sine u times 1 all over du du. An example. And this will give me minus cos minus cos u times uh, 1 all over du du when I integrate this. Then now, let's look at the example. example. Let's look at the example. I have this integrate sine 4x. This will give me integration of sine 4x times 1 all over differentiation of 4x all over dx. And this will land me differentiating the sine will give me minus what cos. I think we have said it forward x. Times differentiating of 4x will give me 4. Differentiating of 4x will give me what? 4. You remember, this one is this. I differentiate 4x in respect to x. It gives me 4. Are you following? Are you getting what I'm saying? This one is constant. Are you getting what I'm saying? In this formula, in this format, this one is what? Constant, which I told you is inverse of what we need here. So now, this one is constant. Why I am differentiating the angle, which is 4x in respect to x, it gave me 4. Then now, this will give me minus 1 over 4 cos 4x plus my what? Constant k. This plus constant k. You follow? So now, if I now integrate sign, I will get minus eh, cos. And you remember that this 1 over 4 is a coefficient of cos 4x, as I said before. So when I integrate, when I integrate sine, I will get minus cos. When I differentiate cos, when I differentiate cos, I will get minus sine. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Then when I integrate sine, I will have what? Minus what? Cos. Can we move ahead? Now? Then now, Let's look at the equation given to us. Let's look at the question given to us. Since we have understood these two things now I have done, let's look at the equation given to us now. See how we are going to what? PCC it without wasting time. Look at the equation given to us. They said integrate cos 4x plus sine 3x dx. I told you that this man is there to notify you that this function has been differentiated. We only integrate somebody that has been what? Differentiated. We don't integrate somebody that is normal. Are you get what I'm saying that? Christ does not come for somebody that is normal. He comes for those that is what? Obstructed. The people that already disastered. So, any differentiation means destruction. Why integration means a restoration? So, there will not be Integration without a differentiation. Are you can say that the, the integration comes after differentiation. So I have differentiated this function. That's this what this man is telling me. How many times have I differentiated it? One. That means that demon holding this man is only one. Are you gonna say? So I'm going to integrate it. And for us to integrate it, it will be equal to integration of cos 4x plus integration of sine 3x and I get what I'm saying that that's equal to then going with what we said I have this to be what integration of cos 4x times 1 all over d4x all over dx plus integration of sine 3x times 1 all over d3x over dx. Then doing that, I will have integration of cos. We give me what we say about cos. When I integrate what cos, what am I going to have? I have sine 4x times differentiating of this man will give me 4, 1 over 4. Then plus Integration of what? Sine will give me minus what? Cos. You remember? 3x 
times differentiating of 3x. Look at 3x. Differentiation of 3x will give me x. It will give me 3. Differentiation of 3x will give me 3. This is 1 over 3. Then coming over here, I will now have this to be multiplying. It will give me 1 over 4 sine 4x plus. No more plus now because this plus minus. Look ahead. Look here. Look here. This plus minus, when I differentiate, when I integrate sine 3x, it will give me minus cos 3x. Then this plus minus, it will give me minus cos 3x times 1 over 3. Then this will not like me 1 over 4 in short form, 4x minus 1 over 3 cos 3x. Plus constant. Remember, constant must be there. Remember, constant must be there in your integration. So you will not see with the help of what I have done now, we different integrate this without wasting time. So come back to this. If I integrate this man, I have to integrate it with this what angle. Then multiply by differentiation one all over differentiation of the angle plus integrating this man times. 1 all over differentiation of his what? Angle. That's all. Then now, uh, and looking at the option given to us, we see that the option given to us that the answer is 1 over 4x, dx, dx. Okay. And the answer, answer is the word C. The option C is our answer. Are you getting what I'm saying? And I told you that I'm going to tell you why we put constant in our what the integration that constant is necessary in a word integration look at it for instance let's say we have if y is equal to 3 x raised to power 2 plus 4 6 x plus 4 are you following me look at this and we are asked to what differentiate this man in respect to x and this will be what? Differentiating 3x raised to power 2 plus what? 6x plus what? 4 all over what? dx. And this will give me differentiating 3x squared all over what? dx plus this is plus. Are you following me? Then this will be what? 6x all over what? dx. And this is plus. g4 all over what? dx. Are you getting what I'm saying? Then differentiating this man will give me 6. That's 2 times 3 will give me 6. Then minus 1 from the 2 will give me 1. Then plus, this will give me 1 times 6 will give me 6. X minus 1 plus this man will give me minus 1. Plus, differentiating this man, oh, he does not contain X. You remember what we say in our word part 1 of this uh, journey? We said in part 1 that when we say dy dx means that we are declaring war onto this function y. That is only people that contain x that will survive this differentiation. That I'm declaring what dy dx means I'm declaring war to this function y. And only people that will what survive it people that contain what x. Then looking at the 4, does it contain x? No, it implies that 4 is a constant. And since it doesn't contain x, if we differentiate it, it will give out what? 0. Just like when Christ is coming, it's the only people that take him and the Lord and personal Savior that will survive the coming of Christ. If you don't have him and uh, Lord and Savior, personal Savior, you will become what? HL, which is what? 0. Then now, looking at this, I will have 6x plus what? Um, um, uh, 6, you remember? Then y, this is what? 6x raised to power 1 minus 1 will give me 6x raised to power what? 0. And anything raised to power 0 is what? 1. Then 1 times 6 will give me what? 6. This is what I differentiated this to be. Are you going to say that? You remember that 1 minus this will give me 0. x raised to power 0 will give me 1. 1 times 6 will give me 6. This one is already 0. Then now, this one will be integrated, uh, differentiated. Let me integrate that value. I want to tell you why we have uh, that. Let me integrate that value. Then what we have here is that dy dx is equal to what? 6x plus what? 6. Then I can now say that y is equal to 6x plus what? 6 dx. 
then what am I doing? I have what? Integral of what? 6x plus 6 dx. You remember our question? Look at what we differentiated. You know, y equals to 3x raised to the power 2 plus 6x plus what 4. That's what we differentiated before. Then we are now integrating it. We're going to integrate it. Let me turn over here. Yeah? Let's integrate it. We're going to have this to be what? Integral of 6x plus integral of uh, 6. Are you getting what I'm saying now? I will have this equals to, what am I going to have? I will have 6. Are you following? X. I'm now returning. This is raised to power 1. I'm returning that 1 that I subtract when I was differentiating. I will return it to be plus now 1. You remember that we did minus 1 before. Are you getting what I'm saying? Then I'm returning it back. I return it back. This one is already raised to power 1. Then returning the one I subtract before to it become plus. This this power nine is what I will use to divide. I get what I'm saying. As I return the one, it gives me what one plus one. I will use it to divide. Then plus this one now I will have six. You remember that this six was uh, x raised to power zero, right? Then I have what x raised to power zero, which give me six before because I subtract one before. Because I subtract one before, you give me x raised to the power zero. Then I'm adding that one back now. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now? Then plus the constants. I will now have this to be what? 6x raised to the power 2 divided by 2 plus 6x raised to oh divided by 0 plus 1. Are you following now? This will give me what? X raised to the power what? 1 divided by 1 and plus my what? K. Are you following me now? Then now, I will have this. I will have this. Okay, let me turn here. For clarification. I have this. Please pay attention. Look at this. X raised to the power 2 divided by 2 plus 6 x raised to the power 0 plus 1 divided by 0 plus 1, which will give me 1, then plus my word k, and this will give me 3x raised to the power 2 plus, this will give me 6x, and this will give me plus 1 k. That means that my y is equal to 3x raised to the power 2 plus c is x plus k. Are you saying this? Look at where we land ourselves. But look at what we differentiated. This man, this man. But where is the 4? 4 couldn't be able to come back. Are you getting what I'm saying that? So, because 4 couldn't be able to come back, we use this k to represent the grave. Because you couldn't be able to resurrect 4 back. So we use k to represent the grave of those ones which we cannot be able to what? Resurrect. You will not see that integration, some people are hold bound and some people have been delivered. Some have not been delivered, waiting for the coming of Christ. So for those that are waiting for the coming of Christ to deliver them from their bondage, is the people who use K to what? Keep. Why these people are people that will be able to restore through the disciple of Christ. But this K represents the people that couldn't be able to be restored back. By the, Christ, by the disciple of Christ, then they say, wait upon the Christ to come to resurrect you. So, integration means what? Restoration. So, we couldn't be able to restore this man back. So, he wait, we use this cake to represent his grave. That's four. We couldn't be able to get it back. So, we use cake to represent it. So, watch what we differentiate. Look at it. And we see that four is there. But in our integration, we see that 4 is missing. Why the K represents his grave that is waiting for the Lord to come and what? Restore him back. So that's the reason why you have to put K constant, either K or C, as a constant whenever you integrate. So integration carries constant, which is must to be. You have seen any reason. So I wish you look for the parts three of these differentiation till we get to the last point you'll be able to what tackle the jamba question thank you for subscribing
Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. See you in part three of this.